we have not done a good job as owners and um, it has been hard, harder than we would have thought. A frank answer from Browns owner Jimmy Haslam as he fielded questions today about the state of the team, the new GM and the scandal that just won't go away. We have team coverage of Haslam's response to all of this. Dave Chodowski standing by at Brown's headquarters with an introduction to that new general manager, John Dorsey. But first, twice today, the questions focused on race. And Andrew Horansky is also live in Berea with whether the team followed the so-called Rooney rule when Dorsey was hired and reports of a racist recording coming out of the pilot flying J trial. What can you tell us, Drew? Well, of course, that rule, Sarah, requires NFL teams to look at at least one minority candidate when hiring for top jobs. That came up today, as well as Mr. Haslam's thoughts on what the former president of his company allegedly said. Just moments after introducing the Browns' newest general manager, owner Jimmy Haslam answered questions about Mark Hazelwood, the man who once ran his company Pilot Flying J. Hazelwood and three ex-employees are at the center of a federal fraud conspiracy case where a judge released a bombshell saying that a mole made secret recordings of Hazelwood making allegedly racist comments. That's not how we act and do things and those kind of, of remarks are intolerable. It was a rare moment for Haslam who rarely talks about the case but who was quick to point out that none of the employees involved still work for him though the company is paying for their defense. Until those employees uh, plead guilty or are found guilty, uh, the company pays for their legal expenses, so that will continue. The judge described the recordings as vile, explicit, and inflammatory, but gave no specifics, saying only that they were disparaging to the people of Oakland, California, Cleveland, and the Browns. And this wasn't the only issue of race that Haslam took on either, reiterating that his team did consider minority candidates for the Browns' job as required by the NFL. We're never going to comment on who we interviewed. Uh, I just I don't think that's fair to the particular individuals. And the pilot flying J case resumes in January, at which time a jury should be hearing those recordings and new details should be released at that time.